So recently there's been some talk of Trump getting rid of the Iran deal. Now, if you don't know what the Iran deal was, it basically said that we lift the sanctions on Iran and give them back their own money. And then we allow the IAEA to come in and they can regulate Iran to make sure they are not creating any sort of nuclear weapon. And if they do have something that could be classified as a WMD, they have to only be using it for research or their power grid. It was, in my opinion, one of Barack Obama's best moves. And on that matter, all these Republicans are against it. Like, oh, they hate that Obama gave Iran their own money. Or his... But if he sold them weapons, he'd be the greatest president of all time. <laughs> and here's the thing. What this is going to do is extremely obvious. This is just going to escalate tensions with Iran. Because Iran's a country we've been talking about going to war with since the 1970s. Actually, I think it's actually been the 50s, but yeah, you know, even back when Bush and Cheney were in office, they were talking about how we need to invade Iran. That was, I believe even Cheney said that one of his biggest regrets as vice president was he wanted to attack both Iraq and Iran at the same time. So, yeah, this is an awful thing. This could lead to another war, and, oh god, if it actually does, oh god. I've talked about how, it's currently we're on the verge of four wars, Syria, North Korea, Venezuela, and Iran. Now, Venice, now the Syria one has mostly died down, and that is mostly out of the picture. Um... And Venezuela hasn't been escalating that much. Iran just became the most likely. It's currently, in terms of likeliness of war, now I think it'd be Iran, North Korea, Venezuela, and Syria. I think that's really the order. Um, as the time goes on, I imagine we'll tack some more countries on there. But that's really it. I'm Ephraim, and good night.